I want you to go through like your normal progression, right? I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna just kind of see where you are concept wise. I can get a good sense of what's going on and then I'll start breaking things down. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we're going to show you a little behind the scenes with Sarah Carrillo from near Boise, Idaho. They're familiar with uh, the throwing chain reaction system. She was doing a lot of good things, but there was a couple of chain reaction elements that were off. This is that classic chest up position that a lot of coaches will talk about, but it doesn't mean chest up. The concept is to be on top, and to feel yourself be able to rotate, <clears throat> but that's just teaching you to turn in place. You don't turn in place. You'll kind of see as we go through a progression and we started talking about things like hips were slightly out of position as she does her stand throw. Again, with the throwing chain reaction, one of the things that we do is we break down specifically what are the individual needs of the athlete. That's part of the point of the six pillar system is that we're gonna show and, and identify what the problem is and why it's happening and how we fix it. Good practice, did really well. We did a multi-hour training where we focused on discus and rotational shot. Results were positive and Sarah did a great job. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So when you're in the middle, right, you come around and you're pulling your left arm in. It's okay actually in the shot because the shot's here and your elbow's here so your chest can still be over your knee. But in the discus, see how it's a, it's a counterbalance. So see how if I put my discus here, right? Now watch when I pull my arm in. It just shifts my weight. That was closer. Not bad. That was a lot better. Good job. That was a lot better. So you're going to stand just like this, okay? You're going to hold it here, and then you're going to be this way. Okay? Close. Hey, that was nice. Throwing is one of those things, that's why it's so important to learn really good fundamentals because those become the ingrained habits. So if your fundamentals get a little off, then your throw becomes harder to improve. I'm gonna set the angle, you see that? So I have foot, knee, hip, chest, and then I'm winding this way, okay? So the key is, all my weight is essentially on my right, all right, see where my left is. This is a little bit more advanced. And so what I'm gonna do is teach you to elevate or drop, and then my right heel comes up and my left foot comes down. So I'm setting up the axis. You see that? So at this point in the training, you know, one of the things that we'll typically do, drill bands have become a big part of our training, especially with new athletes. And when you're trying to feel concepts and feel positions, it's a great tool. And here we kind of have her create some different feels, make her aware of some positions. The band sit in a proper point if it's utilized right. If you change your orbits or different things get out of alignment, the band will move out of position and it becomes very obvious that you're in the wrong position comes up on your back, you're out of your window. So you want to keep it here across the shoulder okay. blades. Now your arms, right? This hand is slightly below here. This hand is basically right out. You're in the window. If this hand comes up, bands above your shoulder, you're out of the window. You always want to keep the arm in the window throughout the throw. <laughs> That's good though. See, and I'm, I'm glad you caught that. So you, you felt yourself coming out of the orbit. So keep it long. Yes, much better. It's okay. That was a nice one. Much better. That was nice. So that the lower body can go ahead and the lower body's turning my upper body. That was a lot better. Okay. 